Concerning the meeting of uh, Prime Minister Kurti and President Vucic, I think it's a good idea to have this meeting end of um, August, but of course uh, there will be no significant outcome and uh, the decision must be firm because Kosovo is absolutely, uh, uh, it should be implementing reciprocity and the ID cards and the number plates uh, should exactly uh, be treated like uh, they were proposed on the 1st of August and that will be then implemented on the 1st of September and that's just fine. And it should be like that for the moment until Serbia allows uh, the Kosovo number plates to circulate and um, recognizes um, the Republic of Kosovo because the whole idea of the dialogue is the mutual recognition and nothing else. This is important, mutual recognition. And the situation in the north should be like the situation in the north should be basically good, yeah, because everybody lives in security and safety in the Republic of Kosovo. And this kind of um, organized um, um, secret service activity where the population of, uh, Ser of um, the Kosovo Serbs is abused uh, by the elements of the security apparatus of Serbia for this kind of stunts yeah, has to come to an end. That's as simple as it is. And I call the European Union no longer to appease uh, Serbian non-acceptance and non-recognition because that's a serious problem. We should all recognize Kosovo from Spain, Slovakia, Cyprus, Greece, um, Bosnia, Ukraine, uh, Moldova, Georgia. We are one united European Union. Everybody who wants to join the European Union in the future has to recognize Kosovo absolutely as a condition. And everybody who is already inside and has by some bizarre internal fragility is not recognized Kosovo like Spain, like Romania, like um, Cyprus and like um, Greece and Slovakia, who are always claiming then to be good allies of America and of Germany and of Austria, but in reality fall in our back at this important question. And this is also completely unacceptable. And it's time for the German Chancellor, the American President and also the Austrian Prime Minister, Chancellor, to ask all these countries and their leaders to recognize the Republic of Kosovo very much right now and in the summer of 2022, before the dialogue meeting. And it should be anyhow renamed the dialogue into the dialogue between two states. Not the belgrade pristina dialogue, but the Serbia-Kosovo dialogue. And I personally call for a parallel dialogue uh, between Bosnia and Kosovo, which is much more promising. And I can just um, recommend everybody who is in charge in Pristina and in uh, Sarajevo to get together much more often, build a separate dialogue. If the EU doesn't support it and the Americans, then it's absolutely possible to make mutual visit because the future is Bosnian Kosovo reconciliation and joint NATO and EU membership. That's the way forward because uh, Serbia will only recognize Kosovo once uh, they have understood that everybody else is in NATO, in the EU and has the euro as currency. And that we have to achieve on the Balkans. And in that moment, when Serbia is completely isolated and alone and it's outside NATO, EU and has not the euro as only country in the Balkans, at that moment they will recognize Kosovo. And that we have to achieve as fast as possible by getting everybody else in NATO, in EU and in the euro. So simple, so clear. And that must be the outcome of the European Union and American strategy for the Balkans in the coming weeks. Thanks a lot for listening. More to come from Pax Europeana. Bye.